The AgriRouter is a universal data exchange platform for farmers and contractors with which machines and agricultural software can be connected across manufacturers. In this lesson, you will learn how to group your endpoints and the benefits groups can bring you. As you learned in Lesson 2, you can display and manage either individual endpoints or grouped endpoints in the control center. Groups allow you to group your endpoints in a meaningful way, for example, by manufacturer, machine type, or by process sections such as silage collection. Settings can be made here that apply to all members of a group. All newly added telemetry boxes or machines are automatically assigned to the default group. This group is always present and therefore cannot be deleted. You can manually add agricultural software to this group. Groups can be edited like endpoints. Also here you can specify the name and a description. With a click on delete, a created group can also be removed again. However, the group members, in other words, the endpoints, remain, are not deleted. You can retrieve support information via the I button. Further information is available in the Help Portal Learn box by clicking on the question mark symbol. Groups can be added with a click on the plus symbol that you'll see below the group list. Simply enter the desired name and description in the pop-up and confirm your entries. Groups are always created empty and without group members. Members can be added to a group at any time by clicking on the plus symbol. Simply select the respective endpoints in the pop-up and confirm your selection. If you select endpoints in the member overview, you can remove them by clicking on the delete icon. Again, you must confirm your action in the pop-up. By clicking on the endpoint, you will get directly to the respective endpoint details, which you can then edit. The primary advantage of groups and the default group is that you can define a basic routing for multiple endpoints simultaneously. This is then passed to all group members so that you do not have to create it again individually for each group member. If routings have been defined for the default group, these are automatically inherited to newly connected telemetry boxes or connected machines without further action being required. Nevertheless, you can make additional individual settings, for example, to define additional routings for individual endpoints. With the AgriRouter, you too can simplify your processes and improve the profitability of your business.